Hello everyone, thanks for joining us this morning and welcome to this educational presentation of how to easily determine the strength of any trend. And this uh, doesn't rely on any specific market, it could be any market and any time frame. Uh, for example, let me start out by sharing with you this older chart in Netflix. As we can see, Netflix had a really large upward move and let's say you were lucky enough to have some strategy or some method that was able to get you going long right here at this level. And you have a very nice profit under your belt. You want to decide whether you should exit or whether you should at least tighten up your stop. Well, this tool, which I'm going to be sharing with you today, would have given you an early warning right here. And even though the market kind of fell out of bed, it actually went back up. And then again, the same tool would have given you another warning prior to this large downward move. So this is the educational presentation I'm going to be sharing with you today. And you're going to see how simple it is to actually calculate and how to use on our new platform. This is the PTS Primo Charting Platform, the educational portal that actually teaches you how to trade. So welcome once again. My name is Stephen Primo. I'm the president and founder of Specialist Trading. And this promises to be a great educational presentation today because I'm going to be sharing with you a tool that I developed with Pro Trader Strategies that is easily accessible in helping you determine the strength, the strength, excuse me, of any trend in any market and any time frame. Now, if you're new to my presentations, we are strictly about educating you. I've been trading for 42 years now. I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for a total of 16 years. Nine of those years, I was a specialist. That's where we get the name specialist trading. If you're not familiar with what a specialist is, it doesn't mean that you're any more special than anyone else. It just means that if, let's say, as an investor or a trader, you wanted to buy or sell a particular stock or equity, well, you would call your broker, and your broker would in turn contact the floor broker on the floor of the exchange, who in turn would walk up to the trader who specialized in making a market in that particular stock. So if you wanted to buy or sell, you had to contact the, the specialist who was in charge of making markets. And that's what I did for roughly nine years. I made markets during the crash of 1987 and the bull market that followed. So I've seen and traded just about every technique, every system you can imagine. I have traded through every environment, straight up, straight down markets, sideways markets, everything you can think of. So in my 42 years of trading, I know what works in terms of consistency and I know what doesn't. So that's why we are strongly educating you because that way you don't have to waste your time and energy and most especially your hard earned money searching for what that holy grail is when in fact, holy grail is really education. It's all about educating yourself so that ultimately you can be in charge of making your own trading decisions. So that's the gap we fill at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies. We want to educate you so that you can be in charge of your trading decisions for the very first time in your trading career. So I'll show you how you can determine and make uh, you know a decision in terms of uh, your own position sizing if you want to be long or short, if you want to uh, tighten your stop or if you want to exit entirely using this de uh, trend uh, determining tool. But before we begin today, as always, we are first required to share this with you, so please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results using this new tool, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the performance results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. And also, please remember that all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. So as you're taking a brief moment to view our required disclaimer, if you're new to my presentations as well, I would like to invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. There's our handle right there. You may want to copy that down. That's abbreviation for specialist trading. I post different educational information on a daily basis, anywhere from uh, signals that our strategies have generated to actual little bits of uh, financial wisdom I've accumulated along the way. So lots of great free educational information. Feel free to follow us on Twitter. Now, as I stated in the opening statements, we're a little bit different from other presentations in that we are strictly about educating you. So before we begin, I just want to say one thing. I, as an educator, I want you to ask as many questions as possible. But prior to that, I just want to announce that if we stop for every slide, we'll be here far too long. So if you have a question, please wait till the very end. I'm going to do something here and break precedent a little bit. I'm going to share with you some actual live charts on our platform at the end of today's presentation. But if you have a question prior to that, please just wait and hold off, and uh, I promise I'll get to the questions at the very end, okay? The only question I will answer before we begin is the most common one, and that is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. We record all of our webinars, so if you have to leave early or if you have any technical issues, 
Many times it's your own internet connection. Just log off and log on again. But if you're still having technical issues, don't worry. We will send you a link to this recording, okay? All right, we have a good crowd here today. So remember, please wait till the end to ask questions. Now, with that out of the way, let us begin. Here is what my mentors taught me 42 years ago when I was struggling with my own trade. And it was a hard concept for me to really grasp, but once I grasped it, then it made trading a lot easier. And also, I started to become a lot more consistent as a trader. And what they said is the market is always telling you what it wants to do. You see, I was always relying on some guy, uh, some guru, and we didn't have chat rooms or trading rooms then, but we had uh, newsletters, and I was always relying on them to tell me what the market was going to do, how high or how low it was going to go, how strong it was going to be. Or I relied on tons of indicators, and maybe I had maybe 10 or 15 indicators on my screen. Or I relied on all the interest rate news or all the economic figures coming out. I relied on all these outside sources to tell me what the market was going to do. But I didn't rely on what the market was telling me. You see, they said that's the only thing I really should be listening to. Because the market is always telling you what it wants to do. So our job is really simple as a trader. Our job is simply to listen to the market and then jump on board with whatever direction or you know uh, volatility or whatever strength it wants to go and continue. That's it. You know, we're, our job is not to try and figure out what the earnings are going to be, or our job is not to do research and find out who the CEO is or what direction the company wants to go in. That's great if you're a long-term investor. You need to know those things if you're holding on to a stock for 20, 30 years. But if you're trading, if you're a short-term swing trader, you don't need to know that stuff. Tr trust me, take it from someone who relied on that 42 years ago. It didn't make me any money. It didn't make me any more successful 42 years ago. So it's not about to start working 42 years later. Those things are really good for investing. But if you're trying to trade, if you're swing trading, there's really no need to put your hard-earned time and energy into these things. Really, what you need to focus on is to listen to the market, okay? So listen to the market and your trading will become a lot simpler and a lot more consistent. So with that premise out of the way, let's talk about our new tool on our platform. It's our new custom crosshair. This is what's going to help us determine the strength of a trend to see if its uh, is strength and momentum is dissipating or if it's still intact. But please remember, this tool we developed is not a strategy. It's not telling you when to buy or when to sell. It's simply uh, you know, a tool to aid you in determining what you want to do in your already uh, you know, uh, initiated position, or if you want to initiate a position. All right, let's look at a standard crosshairs. Standard crosshairs look like this, and basically it's just, uh, you know, a uh, straight up and down vertical line and then a horizontal line, okay? These are standard crosshairs, and they help you to, to, to place your cursor over the stock C, usually to have some type of price points or some type of, uh, you know, um, uh, data reference. This is what we developed on our platform. This is our custom crosshair. Now we have the standard up and down vertical and horizontal lines, but we've also added two proprietary diagonal lines. There's a top diagonal line here that's in red and the bottom diagonal line, which is in green. So how are we going to use those to help us determine the trend? Well, these are the technical requirements we need to use this tool. We need our buy sell line. Now, before you flip out and say, wait a minute, hold on, I knew there was a catch here. I have to buy some other indicator. No, the buy sell line is simply the 50 period moving average. OK, we call it the buy sell line because we use it in that way to tell us whether we should be buying or selling. But in this reference, we're not going to use it that way. We just simply want to use it to help us uh, find out the strength of the trend. So we're going to need the 50 period moving average. As you can see here on this chart, we look back at Netflix again, we would click on on our platform, click on the buy sell line right here, and you have a choice of how you want to view it. Let's just use the standard 50 period simple moving average because that's what it is, and the line appears, okay? So that's what we need. And then the second portion we need here in these requirements are the custom crosshairs, obviously. All right, so that's all we need to use this tool. Now, usually what you want to see is that really nice upward slope. This tells you that you have a very, uh, uh, you know, strong momentous stock that's either going up or going down, depending on the slope. Now, what we want to do next is click on the custom crosshair tool, which is the icon right here on our platform. And this will give us the crosshair. Now, here's what's different and the way we apply it. 
most people would put the crosshair over the price, okay? They'll look and see, well, here's the bottom, here's the top, whatever. We want to directly put the crosshair on the buy sell line, the 50 period moving average. So whenever a high is made, a closing high, you want to lower the crosshair down to the actual uh, 50 uh, period moving average of the buy sell line. And the way we're gonna use it is in applying and seeing where that 50 period moving average is in relation to those diagonal lines. As you can see here, the 50 period moving average is well below the lower diagonal line. That's gonna come into play in how we apply this. Remember, this is all made easily uh, available on our platform. This is the portal that teaches you how to trade. So let me share with you some examples, and then we'll actually go to uh, live examples of the, of the platform and, and share with you some stocks you may be interested in. All right, so let's look at some older technique examples just so that you know how this technique works. All right. With Netflix, let's say once again, you were lucky enough to get long here. Let's say you got long on this breakout right here, okay? And now you've got a very nice profit. But as with so many traders, they don't know where to get out or they don't know if they should raise their stop or they don't know if they should buy more shares. So here's how this tool can help you. As you start to see price make new short-term highs, what you want to do is click on the cross here. And let's say at this point when we made this new closing high here, okay? As you made this new closing high, let's say, do you want to sell or may, possibly do you think it's going to go higher? Should you buy more shares? You would click on the custom crosshair and place it not on the actual price, but the closing price where the 50 period sim, uh, simple moving average corresponds to that. And now we want to look at the relationship between that blue 50 period moving average and where it is on the lower diagonal. If we are hugging that lower diagonal, as we see right here, or below it, that is a sign that most likely, this is not 100% correct, but most likely the trend is dissipating and you should get out. But if, as you see here, it is hugging it or at least a little above, that's telling you that there's most likely some more room to the upside. So as you can see, the blue line, the 50 period was hugging it and just kind of just uh, in sync with it. So there wasn't really much of a warning here and price sold off for a little bit, but then continued higher. So let's go on to the next high as we see here. There was a next closing high right here. Now we place the uh, custom crosshair on the 50 period moving average where it corresponds with that high that was made. Now we see that we are well below that. This is a warning sign. This is a red flag telling you that we may be running out of momentum. Even though price is going higher, we may be running out of steam. So now it's up to you to decide what type of action you want to take. Perhaps you want to exit altogether. Perhaps you'd like to uh, maybe exit a portion of position. Perhaps you don't want to do anything. You're just going to watch it a little further, maybe raise your stop. As you can see, what did price do? In the next two or three days, we fell out of bed, but what happened again? Now we went back up again and had a higher closing high. So let's move this up to this higher closing high. And we are still below. So this is giving us another red flag saying that even though we sold off and we're going back up again, we still have the blue 50 period moving average below the lowest diagonal. So this is a warning telling us that we're still out of gas. This is not something that the indicator is telling us that we're probably going to continue higher and higher. Something to, to take into consideration that you may want to be seriously uh, considering uh, either exiting or at least moving your stop up. And then we see what happened after that. Then we uh, erased all of those highs and made a, a really large sell-off to make new short-term lows here. All right, let's look at it in this point of view now. We're looking at older chart of UPS. Here's the 50 period moving average and it takes off. Let's say that we got long right here, okay? Let's say that this is our system and we got long and now we're starting to go up and make new short term highs. Remember, we place our uh, custom crosshair not on the price, but on the new closing high and where the 50 period moving average corresponds to that. So as we get our custom crosshair, you simply click that on and it will automatically appear. And as a new closing high was made here just about a week after you purchased it, we look to see what the relationship was with the 50. And the 50 is above that lower diagonal. So what's the, the tool telling us? It's telling us that there's still some upward momentum left. It doesn't know how high, it doesn't know how long it'll be. But at that point in time, it looks okay. Remember, this is not a system. This is not pinpointing exactly where to exit or exactly where to enter. It's just a 
a short-term tool giving you a heads up as to the strength of the trend. According to the tool here, it's okay, all right, once again, because you are above this lower diagonal. All right, so we continue to go higher. Let's take it at this high here. Now we see that we're starting to hug the line and we're actually a little below. So even though it isn't well defined, this is enough for you to take action, perhaps maybe want to raise your stop or at least just to be a little bit more weary of maybe this may be ending here. You have a nice profit, so now you want to perhaps be careful about giving that away. Now, had you not had this tool, had you just sat there and said, well, you know, the, the chat room I go to says this is going to go up about another five or 10 points, so I, I don't see any reason why I should sell it, and look what would happen. You see, when you listen to outside sources, sure, they may be right every once in a while, like a slot machine, but there really is no consistency. Once again, I used to rely on these things four decades ago, and they didn't help me. It wasn't until I started relying on these things that, uh, in terms of listening to the market, this is where my trading started to become consistent. And the market was telling me right here that even though it wasn't 100% foolproof, that there was some cause for concern because it looked as if the momentum may be running out. And as you can see, this last closing high, we were well below, and that's where the trend really ended there. And you would have given back everything you made, that little profit you had, and now you're in the loss column had you not taken advantage of this. All right, let's look at another example. This is in PSA. Let's say that we were in this stock, say we're down here, and we have a new closing high. We place the um, custom crosshair right on the corresponding area of the 50 period moving average, and it's hugging and a little bit above, so no cause for concern. But someone would say, but Steve, look what happened. You had a large sell-off. Well, when this happens and you have the custom crosshair above, this is actually telling you that this is a buying opportunity, that do not look at this as we've uh, topped out, that this may, not 100% guaranteed, but may be a buying opportunity. And had you taken advantage of purchasing somewhere around here, well, guess what? Two or three weeks later, you're making brand new highs. So now you move the custom crosshair up to these closing high, and same thing. We're just basically hugging that line, not you know, extensive cause for concern, but, you know, just saying to yourself, well, I'll keep an eye on it, but you have a little sell-off here, and then once again, another opportunity to go long. Now, as we take off this third time, we see here now that the, the 50 period is now starting to be below the custom crosshair, lower diagonal line. So this is cause for concern. A lot of students like to use this technique that are using our custom crosshair, and what they'll do is if they're long a position and they want to protect their profits, They'll place a stop and they will, at that point, once the 50 period is below the lower uh, diagonal line, they will place a stop just below the next bar. And then they'll just continue to track that and then let the market take them out. Now, at this point, you would have been stopped out, okay? And someone would say, but Steve, boy, I got stopped out. It went down for one day and then made higher highs. You're right. But if we moved our crosshair up to that highest high there. Look what, look at the um, positioning now of the 50 period moving average. It's well below that lower diagonal line. And then look what happened. As you look back in hindsight and the stock is making you lows and giving back all your profit, wouldn't it have been a nice place to get out right here, even though you didn't get out at the high? Remember, this is not a system. It's not determining where to exit or where to enter. It's simply a warning tool. Let's look at another example, an older example in Amazon, okay? If you were lucky enough to get in, uh, way down at these levels, you place your custom crossover over this first high here, and, well, everything's okay. It's still saying that there's momentum left. So as we make new highs, you place, and now, once again, we have the custom crosshair below. So if you wanted to exit or place your stop, you would have avoided all this, but this is where we say it's not 100% foolproof, because even though it sold off and you gave back a lot of that profit, Guess what? It continued to go higher. So let's place it over the next short-term uh, closing high, and it's simply hugging that lower line. Not enough information to tell you that this is a topping uh, area. Even though it sold off here, it may have been a buying opportunity, and in all actuality, it was. Now, at this next closing high, this is where we start to see signs, not really... Uh, large, great signs that were well below. You want to see it well below that lower diagonal, but this is enough to give you early warning to say, well, I may want to exit portions of it or may want to not think about buying anymore. And as you can see, 
we still went higher, but at this point we start to really be well below that lower diagonal. So this is where you want to get out or at least think about getting out because now we're really well below and there's a, a large distinction between the lower diagonal and the 50 period simple moving average. All right, one more example here, an older example, BIIB, as we can see, we had a nice run up here and then we really took off. How could this tool have helped us? Well, as we made this first short-term high, we see once again that the 50 period is above the lower diagonal. So not giving us much cause for concern. And even though we fell out of bed here where most people would say, boy, this tool doesn't work. Uh, you know, it looks like we're gonna make new lows. The market is actually telling you that this may be a buying opportunity. We're still above the buy sell line. That's what we call it, the buy sell line. So uh, for all intents and purposes, you may have wanted to pick up more shares or at least, you know, maybe buy some calls or at least not sell your position because then look what happened later on. So we made a really nice short term high here. Let's see what this was telling us. Wow. Now we're getting some early warning here. OK, so. At this point, you really have to start considering, you know, you had a really nice gap up to the upside. Uh, maybe you want to take some profit or maybe move your stop up. And even though it didn't really take place and you went another couple of weeks and made new highs, this is what we always want to look for. When you see this large spread, this distance between the 50 period and the lower diagonal, this is telling you most likely we are out of steam here to be very, very careful. Before you had seen, if I scroll back, before you had seen, we were kind of hugging this and still below and touching it. And it wasn't enough information to say that it was a really, really strong warning that the top was out. But if we go forward once again, this was a very strong warning. Look at the distance, how far away we stay. So as you can see, then the gap down, you would have given back a lot of profits. And if you hope for another bounce, well, it would have never come in that short term period. So this is a great tool to give you that early warning detection as to the dissipation of trend or if it's still strong enough. Now, I'm going to share with you some live charts, OK, just to show you what's happening currently. I just shared with you those older charts just to give you the idea of the concept and how it works and how it can help you. Let's look at some actual uh, up to date charts that have uh, you know, show the closing of Friday and you can uh, ask for any requests and I'll look for them and uh, we'll show you how this works in real time. But remember, we're gonna show you some performance results using real time right now, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. All examples I'm about to show you are strictly for educational purposes only, okay? So let's toggle over to the actual charting here area here, and let me just share with you how this would work. Here's our 50 period moving average. This is a chart in Apple up to today. This is actually um, Friday. Okay, so all it's as simple as this. You would come up, come up to our icons here, all our tools and different uh, uh, methods, and here's our custom crosshair. You would simply click that on, all right? Now you can see how simple this is. Let's look at how this could have helped you when Apple was making these lows here in December. All right, here's a new short-term low right here. Now remember, you don't want to put the custom crosshair over here. We're not looking for the close, the higher low. We're looking for its relation to the 50 period. So you simply scroll up and you want to have it the middle uh, cursor right there on the 50. And look how the 50 period moving average, which is the blue line, was well above the high uh, diagonal line, okay, the red diagonal line. That was giving you a very strong warning that it looks like this downward move that's been going on since November till the uh, end of December is running out of steam and we may be getting a bounce. It's not, you know, this is not a predictive tool. This is not telling you this is the bottom of the market. It's not telling you that we're going to go straight up. It doesn't do any of that. It's just telling you that for the moment right now, we may be running out of steam. Now, there was a little five day bounce and we made even lower lows. So let's see what happened here. OK. If we move the cursor up, same thing. We are right there well above with the 50 period moving average above the higher diagonal. So this is a really strong warning coming from this tool telling us that even though we made a lower low, it's not being confirmed. And chances are we're most likely going to have a little bounce here. How high, we have no idea. How strong, we don't know yet. All right. So as you can see here, the end, even though if you had covered right here and you said, why, why did I cover? It made a lower low. Looking back in hindsight, two months later, don't you think that was a good place to cover or at least to maybe think about going long? Because look what happened. Now we're well above that. Now let's look at right here. Let's say we had gone long somewhere right here on this little consolidation breakout. Let's place the cursor right 
above this new closing high. All right, what is this tool telling us? Is it saying that we're running out of steam to the upside? No, it's not giving us really any indication. It's just saying that, sure, there's still momentum left in this upward move. We don't know how high. And if there is a sell-off, you may want to look at that sell-off as a buying opportunity as opposed to thinking that, well, Apple topped out. I guess that's it for now. It's going to go back to make those and test those old lows. So you see how this works. This is how simple it is. So if you were lucky enough to be in a position here, rather than thinking about exiting, maybe you may want to say, well, listen, this tool is telling me that it's still okay. Sure, I still want to uh, be on top of it, but I just want to make sure that, uh, you know, that uh, the momentum is still with the stock. Is this 100% guaranteed that Apple is going to make new highs? No, it's just telling you right now that it sees no reason why, even if there is a sell-off, that it's topping out. It's just saying right now that a sell-off may mean a buying opportunity as opposed to getting out. All right, let's look at the opposite side of the coin. Let's look at another stock. It's as simple as just clicking on right here and punching up SCHG, okay? Or I should say S, I punched it the wrong way, SC. SG. There we go. As we punch that up, we see we have the opposite side of the coin here. This is actually going lower. So let's see what happened when we're starting to make these lows. Okay, we made a big low here at the beginning of March. Let's place the cursor above that. Okay, now for this to tell us that we were really going to be uh, stopping and going higher, that blue line, the 50 period moving average, would have to be above the uh, red diagonal line. And where is it? It's below. So at that point, it was still telling you that there's probably more room to the downside. And the next week or so, it did go much lower. Now let's go to Friday's close, which is a brand new close. Let's pray, place the uh, tool right over there. And as you can see, it's starting to hug it. You see how it's hugging it? And right there, uh, you know, directly on top of it, but not giving us enough information to say that it's tremendously, uh, you know, uh, running out of steam to the downside and should be looked at now as a, uh, you know, bottoming opportunity. So it's a little bit of cause for concern, but this is something that, once again, that is not giving you enough information. There's no uh, cause to think that even if there is a bounce, that it will be the last one, okay, that we won't be going lower. Let's look at Netflix. Some people are asking about Netflix, and you can ask me which one you're interested in. I, I only have time to look at a few, but I'll, I'll open up. Now, Now, if you want to, you can go to the um, question and answer box, type in the stock you're interested in me looking at, and I'll check it out. I see that someone has typed in Netflix, standard Netflix, so let's look at that, okay? We type it in here, and... As we can see, this had a really nice run up. Let's first look at these lows that were made, the low that was made in December, okay? All you would have to do is place the cursor on top of the 50 period moving average. It was giving you some warning, it didn't give you enough, but it was still above the higher diagonal. So that was enough to tell you that you should be careful. Now, let's say you were out and we have this high that was made right here and this was made in the uh, on the 15th of January. Okay, let's look and place the cursor right below that high, all right? So where is the 50 period moving average in relation to that? It's above. So even though there was a sell off, that was a buying opportunity because at this point, the 50 period moving average, I'll move it right there, was really not showing an, enough concern telling us that Netflix was a sell. Now, even though Netflix fell uh, roughly about 30 points, that should have been looked at as a buying opportunity. Now, let's see this high that was made right here, this closing high right here. This was on uh, the 22nd of February. We placed the cursor over there, and now it's starting to give us a little bit of warning. As you can see here, we were kind of going sideways to lower. We're kind of running out of gas. So this is a, a you know some type of a, uh, a, a indication that possibly we're running out of steam. Here's another closing high, and right there, we're still below this. So this would give you a little bit of warning and say, listen, if I'm long, I may want to take profits or I may want to at least take half the profits, sell half my position or raise my stop. And as you can see, the stock roughly fell from 370 down to 350 or so, but it's still hanging in there. So we don't know yet. This is still up in the air. Okay, somebody is asking about uh, MTN, Mountain MTN. Okay, I'll punch it up, MTN, hit apply. Okay, so now this was doing well, and like all the other stocks in January, uh, December, January made new lows. Let's look at this closing low and see if this could have given us any. Well, first of all, let's look at this low that was here in December, if it would have given us any warning, okay? As we place our cursor over that low, okay, where is 
the 50 period moving average in relation to the higher diagonal line. All right. If this was telling us that we were making some type of a, a not a low, but telling us that the uh, momentum had dissipated to the downside, that blue line should be above the red diagonal line. And so where is it? It's actually below. So this was a great tool telling us that, no, most likely we still have some room to the downside. And if you rally, that may be a good shorting opportunity. Now you can see in the following two weeks into the first or second week of January, the stock went up. The stock went up from roughly 195 up to uh, 220, 225. And that would have been a great shorting opportunity because then look what happened. Then it fell out of bed again. Let's look at this last low closing, okay? Now we run the cursor over here and let's see if there would have been any warning. Well, at this point, look where the 50 period moving average is. It's not tremendously above that high diagonal, but it is above enough to give you some type of concern and say, wow, I made a nice profit on that, uh, you know, that uh, gap to the downside. I may want to think about lowering my stop or maybe sell a portion of my position if I had uh, a couple of puts and maybe get out of one. It's up to you. But this, you see the nice warning this gave you. All right. All right. Let's look at uh, someone who's called about BPTH. Boy, Paul, Tom, Harry, okay. Wow, this is an interesting one. This is basically doing nothing because this is a $3 stock. As you can see here, we had a tremendous, this stock went from literally $3 up into about 75. I don't know what the news was, but went up tremendously. Let's see if we placed the cursor over that high close where it closed roughly about $30, $40, all right? Well, it's not tremendously below the, the uh, lower diagonal. So that's telling you that there may be some more room to the upside here. Now, even though you have a sell-off, this may be looked at as a buying opportunity. This is not a system, though. It's not a strategy. It's not telling you where and how many shares to buy or at what price. It's simply telling you that we're not giving you any indication that this momentum is dried up. Now, we're not saying we're going to go back up to 75 or so. It's just saying that uh, if we sell off, Right now, for what the market is telling us, it's telling us that uh, this may be a buying opportunity. Now, we don't know how low it will go or how high it will go, but this is just telling you the strength of BPTH. So this is a really good tool. Uh, remember, if you're looking to see if there's strength to the upside, you take the highest close. That's the bar you look at, okay? On the downside, uh, FFIV, okay, FFIV, someone's asking about. All right, well, let's look at this close here that was made in the end of December. Once again, this is the lowest close here as we place our cursor right above. It really wasn't giving us any warning that that was the bottom. And as you can see, even though we rose up there, that was a selling opportunity. And then it did make a lower close here. Let's see where price was at this point. Well, yes, here it was giving you a warning, even though it closed up on the day, it was giving you a warning that we may be running out of steam to the downside. And as you can see, <clears throat> the stock went up. Now let's look and see at this higher close right here if there was any warning. No, not much warning. This is what we mean by this being, uh, you know, not 100% uh, you know, foolproof. Sometimes, you know, it's just too difficult to tell because nothing really much was signaled here. But as we look at this low close, let's see if this has run out of steam to the downside. And it's telling you that most likely no, even though there may be a bounce in store, this stock, FFIV, still has most likely more room to the downside. Why? Because the 50-period moving average is not well above that red uh, diagonal line. So even though there may be a bounce here, as there was the last three days, they may be looking at that as a shorting opportunity, if you're interested, okay? Uh, we just have time for a few more. Let me once again look at the question and answer box of any of the stocks that you're interested in. Um, S&P, the S&P, let's look at the spiders, okay? Uh, let's look at the spider rather than the actual index. Let's look at the spiders because we're looking at stocks now. And remember, even though we're looking at stocks, uh, I have, my data source is for the markets, the stock market right now, but we have data sources for futures. We have uh, data sources for the um, uh, currency pairs. We have data for uh, uh, source for the DAX index, for Indian markets. It makes no difference. We have so many uh, uh, sources for data. So I don't want you to think that, well, this only works for stocks. It works for any market that's trending. The last one I'm looking at here are the spiders, okay? That's the ETF that represents the S&P. So this way it'll, it'll show everything. All right. Once again, 
look at this market here when it was falling out of bed. Let's look at the short-term low that was made here on the 19th, okay? If we place the cursor over, it was giving us some warning, okay, and a fairly strong warning. Now, as the mar now, this is where we say our students like to, when they get this signal, then they like to place their stop just above there and write it all the way down and then let the market take them out. So as we made that next low and three days later, we can st still see here that the blue 50 period is well above the high uh, diagonal cross here. So that's telling us that you know we're getting close to this momentum running out. So had you tracked this all the way down and placed your stop just above, well, the market would have taken you out right here, right towards the low. Now we have had a really nice run up, okay? We've made a, a short-term closing high right, actually right here. Let's look and see what this would have told us. If we went all the way down here to the bottom, and look at it was telling us that, nope, most likely there's more room. This really hasn't run out of steam yet. And even though we had a weak sell-off uh, the first week into uh, March, that was a buying opportunity. Had you looked at that as a buying opportunity, well, guess what? Now we're closing even higher. Let's look at the last close here and if we can see that we're running out of gas. Well, we're right there. It's given us a little cause for warning because the blue line is below. So is that telling you that we've topped out, that we're going to make new lows and come all the way down to the December lows? No, this is once again not a predictive tool. It's just sim simply telling you at the moment that the spiders, the ETF that represents the S&P 500, may be giving you a little bit of warning. Now, this could ha go on for the next week, and every higher closing could even give you a greater warning. So this is how uh, powerful this tool is, and this is why you know we really feel that it can help you with your trading because it helps you making your decisions. Remember, our goal is not to simply force feed you a system and tell you where to buy, where to sell, the way so many other so-called educators do. We don't believe in that. We simply want to furnish you with the tools and the techniques and the strategies to help you make your own decisions. And the custom crosshair, I can't think of a better way to help you make your decision as to whether you want to stay, purchase more, or perhaps tighten your stop with this tool because it really, really gives you a great idea as to the strength of the current market you're looking at. Now, we've looked at only daily bars. You can apply this to a weekly bar. Let's just go and see on our, our platform looking at the spiders. Let's go to a weekly time frame, okay? All I have to do is click on the weekly, and now you see once again how the whole thing changes. Let's look and see how the market was right here now. Okay, we've just had a new closing high. Now, on a weekly time frame, that's not giving us any indication that we're running out of steam. So we're okay. If we looked at this closing high right here that was done in February, of uh, last year, remember these are weekly charts, this was February, this was giving you a little bit of warning because look at the 50 period, it was below. So before the market fell out of bed uh, in fe February, or I should say uh, that was in September, I'm sorry, in September, uh, look at this tool was already giving you a very strong warning and then look what happened. Now, as we made those bottoms, we see here that we were above on the 50 period moving average. It was telling you that, you know, you may want to get ready to take some profit. If we look back all the way up to uh, in 2018 at this high that was made in January about a year ago, a little over a year ago, we see here that we place the tool over and look at the distance between the 50 period moving average and the lower diagonal. Don't you think that was giving you some type of warning that we may be running out of steam here? So whether you're looking at daily bars, 15-minute uh, bars or weekly bars. This is a great tool to help you with. This is our custom crosshair tool, and you'll only find it on our new PTS Primo charting platform. Now, remember, as we go back to the uh, disclaimer page, I showed you a lot of performance results, but please remember that these uh, represent no way in which we're going to actually repeat these uh, performance results. And remember that all examples were strictly for educational purposes only. So let's recap before we go on to any questions and answers you may want uh, to have. Remember, just as my mentors taught me some four decades ago, not some guy in a chat room, not some guy in TV, not some uh, you know uh, indicator that you have no idea what how to use it or uh, you spent $5,000 on, on, on it and you have no idea what it's based on, but the market, the chart in front of you is always telling you what it wants to do. Your only job as a trader is simple. You just have to listen to it with the aid of a, a couple of techniques, of simple tools, and then jump on board. That's it. 
But ultimately, you have to make the decision. Not some guy on TV or not some master system you purchased or not some guy in a chat room. You have to make the decision. In my 42 years of trading, that is the only way I've found that someone becomes a consistent trader. Not by relying on someone else to tell them what to do. I mean, think of it. The entire industry is based, the financial industry and the trading industry is based on you spending lots of money following some so-called trading guru or some so-called trading system that never fails and just simply blindly taking orders, okay? In my opinion, that is a recipe for failure. I couldn't think of a better way to lose money. And that's why, in my opinion, 85% of all traders fail. It's because you've taken yourself out of the game. I often state this to my students. It would be similar to a brain surgeon in the middle of an operation turning to his assistant and saying, well, what do you think I should do now? Tell me what to do now. I mean, that would be silly, right? Or uh, an airline pilot in the middle of flight turning to his assistant and saying, how should I fly this? How do you think I should uh, have the, the, the flight plan going? Or where should I land this? But that's the way traders trade on a daily basis. Think of it. How do you make your decisions? Do you go to a website that tells you what to buy or sell? Do you go to a trading room? Do you watch some guy on TV? Or do you wait for the earnings to come out? The whole industry is based on us waiting for someone or something else to tell us what to do. And that's why it's been estimated that 80 to 85 percent of all traders fail. I want to make you a consistent trader. I want to put you in that five percentile group of traders that is consistently profitable. And in my opinion, the only way to do that is for you, not me, not someone else, but for you to take charge of your trading. And the way you do that is with sound fundamental education that has stood the test of time. So this is what we do at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies. A good mentor does not trade for you, but he teaches you how to trade. Okay, so let's review the crosshair technique. Remember, this is not a full-fledged strategy. I know a lot of our students who already have the crosshair say, well, Steve, this is great, but where do I buy or where do I sell? This is not that type of a tool. This is simply telling you the strength or non-strength of a current trend. You can apply it to up, down, trendy markets. And remember, any market you want. We had a propensity for stocks and ETFs today, but it doesn't matter if you trade currency pairs or futures, Bitcoin, uh, di different markets. It makes absolutely no difference. We have students that use this on the commodity markets. We also supply you with that data as well. Now, we have seen that because there's more momentum in higher price stocks as opposed to a low $2 or $5 stocks, that this may work better. But remember, experiment. You're in charge. It's up to you to decide. And results may take one to three attempts. Remember, as we just showed you a lot of times, it'll say that maybe we're running out of steam and it'll continue to go down or continue to go up. That's why it may take a while. That's why we always tell our students to track it, maybe to uh, raise your stop as it goes higher. Because once it turns around, you don't want to be left there saying, wow, I guess I should have uh, taken advantage of that tool. Okay. Now ask yourself, do you think this tool could have helped your trading this past year? So many students are always telling me, Steve, I have a great method and, it, and I had a nice profit, but I just watched it dissipate and turn into a loss. Okay. Do you think this tool could have helped you? Well, we have a great offer for all the uh, attendees today taking time out of their Saturday morning. We're going to offer you our PTS Primo Charts, which has the Crosshair tool and so many other great tools that I've accumulated in 40 years of trading for only $7. You're going to get a 30-day trial for $7. You can have full use of the platform. Let me share with you what you're going to be having on the platform. Obviously, the new custom Crosshair feature. You're going to also have our enhanced buy sell line. All right. Now, the buy sell line, once again, is the 50 period moving average, but there are many ways in which to apply it. We have four different ways in which to view that. You're going to get all of those uh, on the platform. You're also going to get our top bottom 25% feature. This is a great tool based off of uh, price recognition that simply tells you the short term trend. All right. Many times we're looking at the overall swing trend, but this is the really good tool for defining the short term trend. You also get a signal scanner, okay? So anytime one of these uh, tools or features uh, generates some type of a signal, you can scan for it and see where the setups are for the next day. Now, this comes with over 90 of the most prominent and popular technical indicators. But remember, our goal here, even though we have a technical bias, is not to tell you how to trade. In fact, that's the opposite of our philosophy. We simply want to teach you and share with you things that have high levels of consistency. So if you like to rely on fundamentals, if they've helped you or you simply feel that I need fundamental information, well, guess what? We're throwing in free Bloomberg TV. Now, this is not something that comes in addition to this. This is actually already on our platform. Let me show you how simple it is. 
Remember I showed you that icon page? All you have to do is simply click on the media page icon and you'll get a, a window showing live Bloomberg TV. So anytime an economic uh, message comes out or any type of report, you'll see it happening live uh, along with your charts. And on top of that, this comes with personalized tech support. If for any reason you have issues opening up a chart and you're not sure how to exactly view a, a tool or a technical indicator, someone will be there to resolve your issues in a matter of moments. This is all uh, just the tip of the iceberg. There's so many other things included in this. I just can't share all of them with you or I'd keep you here for the next half hour or 45 minutes. This is gonna be yours 30 days for only seven dollars okay and remember we supply you with different data sources if you want to look at the dax index if you want to look at indian markets uh, canadian markets if you're a bitcoin trader or if you're a commodity trader we have all that information for you so you can be watching that as well okay here's how to take advantage of this remember i teamed up with pro trader strategies with one goal in mind simply to educate you i handle all the education and the trading uh, and the teaching of the strategies Pro Trader Strategies handles all the discounts and all the tech support. So you would contact Pro Trader Strategies. You could e email them, as you see there, or call them directly. Since this is such an inexpensive price, I would say the best thing to do is simply to, to uh, go to that link you see at the very bottom and sign up for the $7 trial offer. Now, that link is not live. Uh, you have to copy and paste that onto your browser. But if you look in the chat box on the far right-hand corner, there is a live link in the chat box on the go to webinar column you'd have to click that on and you can uh, uh, sign up for the seven dollar offer okay now as i promised i would reserve the last portion for any questions you may have so if you have any questions just go to the question and answer box type them in and uh, i'll answer them to the best of my ability okay okay ricky's saying uh, does the angle between the red and blue diagonal change when the time scale x uh, x axis changes oh that's a very good question no it doesn't the diagonal lines are static now, because of, uh, you know, the 50 period moving average, uh, the way it's displayed may change. We always suggest, as you saw in the charts I was looking at, to have at least two to three months of back data while using this. In other words, if you look at a chart that is only maybe uh, has two weeks of, of bar ch uh, charts on it or, or 10 days or 10 bars, that's not really going to give you enough information. It, it would it'd be skewed correctly to use this. So you want to go back at least two months or maybe about uh, anywhere between 30 and 60 bars to view this correctly. But the actual tool does not repaint or does not reformat. They are static and they always stay the same. Good question. Uh, going to ask for to use PTS Primo platform. Do we have to pay for data? No, that the, the trial uh, altogether is is just seven dollars. You get everything for that, okay? For seven dollars, so you don't have to pay for that. I believe there is uh, once you uh, decide whether you want to continue, then the price does go up. I believe for less than a hundred dollars, ninety-seven dollars, which is still inexpensive. And you get a lot more information that for the data, but uh, that uh, something contact Pro Trader Strategies, they can actually give you a better price on that. Because remember, once again, I'm the teaching and trading division of the company. They're more of the pricing and the tech support. Um, yeah, so people are asking how much after, I believe it's $97, okay? Now they have different tiers if you want to get some of our strategies. Those are different. We have upwards of 10 different trading strategies, which are totally different. They start at roughly $4.95 and can go up to three or $4,000. Uh, as a, uh, you know, what means of getting to know you, I would not want to start this presentation off by sharing with you one of our strategies and then uh, asking you to pay $2,000. That wouldn't be a fair to you if you're not familiar with us. And I wouldn't want you to spend that much money if you're trying to get to know us. So this is why we created this 30-day trial to get to know us and in good faith, we're sharing a lot of our free information with you so that you, uh, with this seven day trial, not free, but for an inexpensive price, so that you can get to know us and know that we're really trying to educate you. Now, once you feel confident, we have a lot of students have stayed with us and then they decide to take the $97 uh, purchase and then they may even purchase some strategies as well, okay? But that's entirely up to you. Um, Robert says, uh, I came in late. Can you briefly state what the crosshair does? Not sure if the webinar is recorded. Well, Robert, yes, it is recorded. Remember, the crosshair, just as in the title, is a tool that's used to easily determine the strength of the trend. That's it. Okay, so just look at the title of the presentation. That's what this tool does, the crosshair. Now, if you didn't get the, uh, if you came in late and didn't get the explanation, don't worry. Each and every one of you will be sent a link 
to this recording so you can watch it in your own leisure. But don't sit on it too long because that $7 trial offer may be gone and I don't want you to miss out on that. Now, think of it, $7, as we get ready to, to conclude here, $7, I can almost guarantee that most of you lost $7 this week alone in commission costs, okay? Probably about 10 times that amount. <laughs> but for $7, you're getting uh, four decades of information and of tools and techniques that I've accumulated. And you can experiment with them, see how they work for you. If it's not your cup of tea, great. After 30 days, uh, you know, then that's fine. You can part and say, thanks, it just didn't work for me. But uh, just to tell you the truth, some of the testimonials you'll see on our website and on uh, Pro Trader Strategies homepage that students are really happy with all the education. They've never heard or seen things like this before. And they've always been taught to look at the earnings or taught to look at the options. This is simply telling you and teaching you how to listen to the market. Most uh, of us have never been uh, taught that, myself included. When I first started trading, I had never heard of some of these techniques and tools. But this is the beauty of this, and there's a lot of great education. And you'll, you also get, with this, one of the things I didn't mention was that, along with the great tech support, you'll also get my personal email address. You can contact me whenever you'd like and I will answer any question you may have using the platform. So a lot of our students use it and go, boy, this is great, Steve, but I'm not exactly sure how to apply this. Just email me, and I'll be there with you every step of the way answering any question, okay? So as we conclude, I hope you got something out of this. I hope you saw the attention to detail and the sincerity in which we really want to educate you because, once again, there are more than enough profits to go around for anyone. You know, it's not a finite source. There's just... Uh, you know, uh, unfathomable amount of profits and consistency for everyone. So why not share it? Why not teach other people how to get it and, and, and share the wealth? And so that's what we're really trying to do and share our knowledge. So sign up today. It's a great offer. We will send each and every one of you a link to this. But I look forward to all of you becoming members of the PTS charting platform. But most especially, I look forward to all of you becoming students of mine and learning along the way along with me, okay? Thank you so much for attending. I wish you all the best of luck, and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.